Hi guys, welcome back to the Be For Real podcast. Hi guys. How's everybody doing? How are the vibes? Good, the vibes are good today. The vibes are great. I think I said the vibes, but that's The okay. vibes. The vibes and the vibes are good. Those are great too. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, what, what's <laughs> up? Uh, let me think. What we, is up? How have like you been? Yeah, I feel like we haven't seen each other for a while because we didn't record last week since we kind of pre recorded oh no we did on monday but it it was was kind of like earlier and earlier in the week so it feels like a long time ago Mm. um but i decorated for christmas yesterday what can i say christmas threw up on my house (laughs) holiday (laughs) holiday vibes (laughs) i'm not done yet i still need to do like the finishing touches i did put my tree up though and she's a bow tree i'm looking at it right now and i'm actually laughing because i literally only decorate the front i kind of noticed that too i was like there's nothing on the back but like (laughs) who's who's looking (laughs) who's Who's looking looking? (laughs) only if you're sitting right here you're gonna see it because i was like when i was putting the bows on i was like why don't i have any more for like the side like the side there Mm -hmm. in the back and i'm like eh whatever whatever but I'm, i am gonna get like little red bows so i'll put them more on that side yeah true. So when you're Fill sitting the on the couch space. but honestly who needs it to be decorated in the back because no. it's like against a wall so whatever but yeah so i went to home sense and i did a huge well not a huge but like i would say medium-sized christmas haul and mm-hmm. um i'm just trying to get myself in the christmas mood because i know once november hits christmas literally comes in like two days oh it's so fast it's literally so fast like even thinking back to the beginning of september and how fast halloween came yeah is actually insanity yeah so thinking about that i was just kind of like i gotta start celebrating christmas early as early as i can because i know it's just going to be gone within a second like everything is gone within a second because time is passing by so fast but um yeah so i decorated for christmas put myself in the holly jolly spirit (laughs) holly jolly (laughs) it's like those videos that it's like once november first hits you're like defrosted you're defrosted mariah carries out yeah you know exactly all of that fun stuff so i'm trying to think of what the heck else i did this week let me see what what happened you went to a concert Oh yeah! Oh my God! How can I forget? Jesus, you when you know my week better I know, than I'm your like, girl, own. You went to a concert. Oh my gosh! <laughs> um, yeah, so I went to the Sabrina Carpenter concert, and guys, Madison bought these tickets literally the day before we went. Really, this has been the most spontaneous concert ever because she wanted to go, and she kind of like slightly mentioned it to me. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, like we'll just see closer too and i didn't realize it was this close yeah okay yeah, yeah and then she facetimes me and she's like freaking out because i didn't answer the first couple of times because i was busy and she's like i got us two tickets we're going and then, <laughs> and then i'm and then i'm just like oh uh, what if i couldn't go and she's yeah. like well if you can't go then i'm going alone and then i'm like i'm not gonna make you go alone <laughs> so i'm coming oh yeah. my gosh so i'm coming and literally i have never had such a spontaneous concert plan in my life yeah because usually you buy these tickets months in advance Mm -hmm. but she couldn't find like any good price tickets literally until the day before because all of them started dropping honestly i find buying your tickets last minute is is a good way yeah i mean you might not guarantee the best seats ever but they will be cheaper prices yeah they weren't the best seats we're kind of sitting on the side like the side of the stage Mm -hmm. but honestly for the price i think we paid it was 260 each okay so really good for that concert because i was looking at tickets earlier and they were literally like for the same seats or around that area was like 500 dollars. really so we got oh a god. good deal Expansive. oh my god and that was just like bad tickets like imagine the ones like in the front or what's it called when you're in the front for, like front row on the floor yeah yeah, yeah on the floor those ones were literally a thousand dollars oh my god so okay miss sabrina i know right so paying you know 260 whatever it was was a pretty good deal yep and yeah it was a really fun night um stressful day though oh my gosh you know all about this because of course the one day that i actually have plans and something to do yeah my power goes out for the entirety of the day yeah and it it was was so windy i knew so many places had their power out yeah and i had no idea that like the power was even gonna go out i didn't even notice it was windy outside yeah and then when the power went out i was like what like what what and then i like walk outside and i'm like oh wait it's pretty windy (laughs) yeah it's pretty windy (laughs) out here um so anyways it was just like a chaotic day because i I, long story but basically i just i couldn't shower i had self-tan on and it was just like when you don't have power you don't realize how much you 
need your power yeah for in this house i don't know if all houses are like this but we have an electric water heater so without <laughs> power you we have no, no hot water. water yeah and do i want to take a cold plunge <laughs> of a shower because i needed to wash my hair yeah Mm-mm, i don't think so joel did but he only had to do like a body shower and so he was literally in the shower for two seconds yeah I'm sure. but i'm like i can't wash my hair in this like no you gotta be no. kidding me yeah so anyways i ended up having to go to my family's house to get ready and everything which kind of really sucked because we had plans to like get ready here and we had the whole night planned out yeah. didn't really work out yeah but anyways we made the most of it yeah and good. i was trying to look at the positive sides where it's just like you know what my power's out what i got i gotta make do it is what it is yeah even though it was frustrating and like my plans maybe didn't go as i wanted them to go sometimes that's what happens and it's just like that's kind of in the moments where you got to realize like whatever's in my control yeah it's in my control exactly whatever's out of my control is out of my control so anyways the concert was a sleigh day anyways and we had lots of fun it was a really good concert the I know. sound production her like just everything was really really good and it was sold out really there was not one open seat and she even said like wow this, it's sold out tonight and we were looking around and i'm like oh my god there's not one empty seat in here well yeah so slay sabrina yeah oh my gosh she ate that up yeah um but she was like really i don't know i liked how she just like interacted with the audience and she was um, she was a great performer great performer yeah. her vocals were great and yeah it was a really really good concert so that was fun yeah i heard so many good things about it i mean i've only seen a few like clips yeah. on tiktok or whatever but i know a few people from work went to and just said it was so good and yeah did you guys get merch or anything no no literally just went and she didn't come on stage until 8 30 or yeah. just passed so we were kind of just like waiting around and whatever yeah. did she have openers or uh yeah she did she had um the openers weren't like in between when she the last opener finished and when she came on it was literally like a 45 minute wait so oh. it was just like so much of nothing yeah you know what i mean yeah so uh, i forget who his name was he has a couple pretty popular songs that yep. have gone around like on tiktok anyways that was that concert was great and let me just see if there's anything else that i did this week that's worth mentioning worthwhile yeah um yeah honestly nothing really i did have a really relaxing weekend which was nice yeah that just about i think unless i think of anything else i'll pipe in but i think that about sums up my week um and yeah what about you i want to hear about your trip yeah no i was away i was in la for the week okay she's just like <laughs> she's like okay yeah i was i was in la for i the was week. in la just like casually like no, i was in la for the week literally like the whole time we were there like saying like yeah we're in la like just the whole time <laughs> i was like oh yeah or like when i went back to work and they're like oh how was la or whatever I'm yeah. like, yeah i was in la oh yeah because i was away yeah <laughs> like, you know, oh yeah week. like oh last week oh yeah i was, oh, yeah, I was away i was in LA. yeah i was in la for just week, like you so. know just yeah yeah just to make sure you know i was in la just to make sure la yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, literally. But no, it was such a good trip. It was so much fun. The weather was great. It was it was like pretty similar to here. But I mean, obviously, it was a lot warmer. Mm -hmm. um, it was also kind of windy while I was there. I think they've also just been having like a lot of wind recently, apparently. I think okay. they had like a bit of like a kind of like the same thing here, like a bit of a windstorm like the week before we went. I, is what i heard maybe it started there and like migrated yeah, over I here because that would make sense like along the sense. coast yeah fair yeah. enough but i mean yeah like the the breeze was a little chilly like if you were in the shade yeah it was cold but yeah. other than that no like it was it was really nice it was like i don't know like i wore i wore a jacket on like one day but it was like the one day i shouldn't have worn a jacket mm. and i was like oh my god i'm sweating oh my god but then i was wearing like a tank top under and i was like hey i don't want it i don't know I feel like it, it was it was good weather. Like you could kind of like wear whatever you want. Yeah, that type of vibe where it's like neutral weather. Yeah. Where it's like yeah. okay, I can wear like shorts and a sweater. Like I yeah. might be a tiny. You bit You could chilly get away with in. like yeah, you can kind of get away with whatever. You might be a little chilly at some points. You might be a little hot at yeah, some points. Yeah, but it's is that weather that's kind of in between where it's kind of like awkward, but at the same time, it's like you could basically wear whatever and you'll be fine. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So it was good, but no, yeah, I had a really great time. We were really busy the whole time. Like we planned to do things every single day. Yeah which was great um so yeah the first day we got there we kind of just hung out like just kind of got settled at our hotel whatnot figured out 
the area blah mm -hmm. blah blah and we just like walked down like two blocks away from our hotel there was a target so we went and just um got like snacks water stuff like that for the next couple days yeah. and then we just went for dinner that night which was at like this really beautiful restaurant i just found like a random we were all like feeling like past us so we're like okay yeah. let's do like an italian place and we found this place down in like santa monica like near the beach yeah and we didn't like make a rezzo or anything so but it was a tuesday night so we thought we'll probably get yeah, in it's a tuesday, tuesday night. night like it's not yeah it shouldn't be like busy too crazy yeah and i guess this restaurant was popular or something i don't know yeah. but when i went they were like oh i think we have like one table left oh or, like that we could get in. and i was like okay but they're like oh you just have to be out by a certain time like they, we oh, only had an had hour res yeah they had like a reservation whatever. coming so we're like okay perfect like that's fine we'll be an hour i'm like as long as you think we can get our food in yeah, that amount yeah, of time, yeah yeah then yeah absolutely yeah. like that's no problem because we were quite hungry yeah and yeah, and then they brought us like it was up. It was literally we had to go like up an elevator and it was like, a couple stories up and it was like right at the water. Like literally they walked us over to the to like the edge of like the patio where yeah. like and the sun was setting and it was oh, just like so oh gorgeous. Gosh. And there's like the palm trees and everything. And I'm like, you were like, like, this is my vibe. I'm like, this is my vibe. This is a great start yeah. to the trip. And our yeah. food was so good. Like we got um like the vodka pasta kind of type thing and like a salad and just yum drinks. And yeah. it was just such a vibe and it was so good. I um, love that. So it was a great start to the trip. Love and that. then, yeah, the next day we went to Disneyland, which was so much fun. Ugh so jealous just as like an adult i don't know it's just different as an adult because it's like you can do whatever you want obviously whatever rides you want yeah like, and we <laughs> you have creative control we have full control babe so and we also got um like a lightning pass so pretty much it was just so crazy it's all like technology controlled like so we got the disneyland app and then it tells you all the wait times for every single ride on, yeah. all, on the app mm -hmm. and then on the app we would book a time slot so it'd yeah. be like oh you can get on um the Incredicoaster at 12.45 between, and you have like an hour window yeah. that you book. So you just have to go between that and then you can go to the front of the line pretty much. Yeah. Which was so nice. And it was only like 30 bucks, which is already so expensive for Disneyland. Well, I guess it's 30 USD. It's probably like 50 bucks Canadian. Yeah. But you're already paying, like Canadian air tickets for the day for a park hopper was like 360, mm. including the pass. But it's like, okay, we're already paying like $300. Like might as well pay 50 bucks like, more. Like what's an and extra 50 bucks? Yeah, exactly. At that point, I was like, it just seems like it would be stupid not to get it, especially if it's going to help you with all the rides Yeah, and all the lines. But one thing that I noticed is it's like, oh my God, they were so efficient. Like Damn. when I tell you, even if we were waiting in the line, we were walking the whole time. Like we were never yeah. stopped and stood for like five minutes or anything. Like you're pretty much walking through the line the whole time. Yeah. So sometimes if a ride was like said 15 to 20 minutes, we're like, well, we're not going to use a fast pass on that because it's definitely not even going to be that long. Yeah. On every ride, they have multiple rides going at once. Mm. So like on the roller coaster, there was like, I think like honestly, four carts going at the same time. Yeah. So the second something pulled in the people got off and as they're barely even off yet you you're already yeah, yeah, getting yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's, there's it's no waiting so moving, right and like there's yeah there's like yeah. no waiting the yeah. second someone gets off you get on yeah. just go 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 like they're so efficient yeah. versus at home like at playland oh, oh my god, god that's you're waiting in line you're stopped and standing there for like 20 minutes they don't have it figured out it's not efficient you get on the ride it's like it takes like literally three minutes to get people in their seats make, some, make sure Even everyone's more, in they crazy. check your seats like another minute before you go it literally it was like 30 seconds you yeah. were getting on and going like on the ride they have a down pat oh my god yeah like it was it was perfect uh, how it should be yeah so that's why we got onto every single ride we wanted to go on yeah even like the brand new like the star wars ride i knew that was yeah. going to be probably like a long way because it was like a new ride and mm -hmm. it was a very big ride and it said there was a when we went it said like 30 minutes or we went on a ride and then i didn't check again but yeah. by the time we went to the ride it like up to um 50 minutes so i was like okay almost an hour but we were already in line so we're like oh shit like yeah. whatever we were probably only in line for like 20 minutes 25 maybe Damn. and it said almost an hour what yeah so that's why i was like it's not actually as bad as you think yeah and i also don't really care to wait in lines like if i want to do something like i have the patience to wait yeah but that ride was so much fun actually i didn't expect to like it that much because at first they it was just so huge dude like they brought you through like different sections so you literally have to like walk through like i mean obviously like the buildings are so like the detail there is just so crazy it's literally like you're on a movie set yeah and then they like bring you and they're like, okay, guys, you're going to go into this. And then you have like a leader like on the screen, like from Star Wars, like yeah. tell you like, okay, guys, this is what we're doing. Like we need to protect the ship. Like <laughs> we're going on a mission yeah. kind of type thing. Right. And then it brings you into another room. And then all of a sudden we were like boarding a ship, like yeah. a, like a Star Wars ship. And yeah. we like got on it and the thing like moved a little bit. And I was like, oh, this is like 
I'm like, there better be more of this ride because this yeah. might be kind of lame if it's just this. Yeah. Then after that, we like we landed completely somewhere else. Like literally the ride moved. We were somewhere else. It opened up and we were like in another building and there was like all these stormtroopers and it was, and then we moved to another building and then they were like, they put us in, like there was a, so much of a storyline to it. Oh my you kept God. Going like to just like places. kind of waiting. Was that, is still waiting in line or was that? No, once we actually got to the okay, ride, that it kind was of felt like you were still waiting in line because like you say, were still yeah. being moved around yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. few times. And then eventually you get to a part where they're like, you get like captured because you're like a traitor or something like that. <laughs> and then they're like, we'll bust you out of here. And then all of a sudden like the door falls down and then you get on like the actual ride. Oh, part. Okay, okay. So it's like, you've already been in like three different sections of the ride, but this isn't even like the ride. Oh yet. my God. Okay. Okay. And then you get on the ride. I don't even know how it works. There wasn't even like things in the ground holding your things moving around. So I'm like, I think we were just like magnetized, like, in magnetized, the yeah. like it was just crazy. And then there was like, like, cause we, I've never been on this ride. I never seen any videos. So we had like no expectations. And there's like, you know, we're ripping around blah, yeah. blah, blah, like that. And then you go backwards and then yeah. all of a sudden we're at a park and we see like in the distance, a screen, they're like, all right, like we're evacuating in five seconds or something like something like that. You see in the distance, like another car like drops. And then me and Hannah both look at each other like, cause we're like, oh, it's about to be a drop. Like we're about to drop. Oh, cause shit. we had no idea what kind of ride it. We're like, is this a roller coaster? Yes. Like, what is it? Yeah. And we both, like, don't love, like, the stomach drop oh, rides. Oh, like the butterflies. Yeah, because yeah. Ryan was, like, begging to go on this one ride all day. That was, yeah. like, tow- like, the old Tower Terror. Yeah, that, the one that goes, Which is literally, oh, it my just drops. We both were kind of side-eyeing all day. Like, we don't really want to. Uh-oh. But, like, <laughs> yeah. But it ended up dropping. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I didn't expect that. So, it was just, yeah. like, it was such a fun ride. And I don't know. It was just such a vibe. Love it was that. so good. All the food was good. It was so fun. Uh, I love that. Yeah definitely got to do it as an adult too just it was so fun yeah i think it's it's a different experience as an adult for sure oh totally and it's just even though you're there like everyone is there for the same thing like everyone's there because they're like oh we're at disney like everyone everyone's wearing something matching or something disney like it's just so cute so cute and i was like suddenly i'm a disney adult yeah (laughs) (laughs) suddenly suddenly i'm obsessed but yeah it was so much fun and then other days i don't need to give the whole trip details but you know we did shopping we went to like all these like little cafes restaurants went to rodeo drive walked around there beverly hills we spent halloween was actually really fun though because we went to sir oh my god wait you went on that was on halloween yeah oh my god so we went to sir which is from vanderpump rules guys if you don't i'm know. so jealous oh my god it was so fun okay so we go to sir we made reservations to go because on halloween night we didn't really know what we were gonna do because i'm like i don't know what people do here like yeah. a lot of people it's funny we met people at disneyland and they're like yeah we're going to david dobrik's house party and i was like cool oh, like what? okay yeah. it was just like so funny like the way they name drop we're like i was like oh like what do you guys do here what are you guys doing for halloween and they're like oh we're going to david dobrik's party <laughs> and i'm like okay and okay. i actually realized that the one guy we we're talking to is like one of his friends oh that i okay. didn't realize until later and then i was like oh oh but it's just funny but the fact I'm that like, he just like name dropped like that i like, was like in the full name like you just wanted I'd, to sound cool i know like shut up like you're just you're just trying i know to, it was funny but yeah. so yeah we were like hey we'll just go to sir and then we're in west hollywood yeah. so and apparently we'd heard that there's a bit of like block party or like there's a bunch of like bars and gay bars in the area that do like costumes and yeah I don't, and like stuff. i don't know they just it sounded yeah. like a good area to yeah. be in for halloween so unfortunately we didn't have costumes though because we didn't like plan in advance and since we didn't know what we were doing and we'd never been to la we weren't sure like what the vibe was we're like basically. what if we don't end up doing anything where we need a costume yeah then it's like pointless and you know what now that i know anywhere you go on halloween everyone's wearing a costume okay like they are so creative everybody's wearing a costume everyone's going all out and i wish i would have known that because yeah because you would have dressed up yeah and then my one friend like we kind of looked for costumes a bit in the day like even just like wigs we're like even if we just put on a wig yeah literally that would be fun like i'm just me but with a wig me with a wig like this is a different girl yeah um and so we didn't find any unfortunately we went to a couple costume stores and it just because it was the last minute like there were and the stores were so busy too like everyone's last minute shopping yeah and there's no options left yeah Yes, yeah, so we didn't find anything and whatever. We're like, okay, well, it's fine. We don't even know what we're doing. And we yeah. went to Sir. And it's so funny because the second we walk up, I already see him like, oh, Peter's literally at Stop. the door. Like he's, so he's cool. letting people in yeah. kind of type thing. Yeah. And I like side eye Hannah because like Ryan has only she- Sheen. Sheena? Sheen. Sheena. <laughs> I was going to say, you still saw Sheen. Ryan has only seen who's my other friend that came with us on the trip. She's only seen like the first two seasons so far. So she okay. doesn't really know yeah. everyone. Like that's as much as she's watched. Yeah. So I kept like, I would like side at him and I'm like, it's literally Peter at the door. I'm like, the first person I'm talking to here Stop. is literally Peter, like from the show. I don't know why it's crazy to me that like, 
in real life but they still work there in and real like life do they, it. they genuinely work no, there because yeah. to me it's like watching the show after watching like all those seasons it's like you somewhat think that it's all kind of fake in yeah. terms of like you wouldn't expect to go to the restaurant and actually see them no and you Pierce know dead has the manager still there so yeah anyways immediately he's like hi ladies like you know when he like and checks like, you out i'm like peter hi peter that's crazy <laughs> no whatever and then so he walks us in and he takes us to like it was just so crazy being in the restaurant because you don't actually get to see like the whole entire restaurant on the show yeah. so like walking through there it's like oh i didn't know about this section yes. or it's like oh i never saw it kind of type thing but so he brings us to like the dining room we just sat in the dining room yeah and so we walk in and there's only one other table with people at it in and there's probably like four or five in this one section because there's like kind of small sections of the yeah. restaurant there's one table with two people at it and it's james and ali <gasps> that's his girlfriend right? yeah okay and they're sitting there and i'm like Shut and I sat, up. so i sat where he's like behind me kind of yeah. type thing but i was like oh my god james is literally Stop. sitting behind me like that's of course crazy. james is here the like, fact that he sir. was actually there is so funny. right no and so it was so funny anyway so he was there and then eventually like whatever hannah was taking a picture of like me and ryan taking pictures and he was getting up to like walk away and he yeah. literally just comes and photo bombs us like he just like we hadn't even talked to him at all and he oh, just really? comes and starts like posing behind us because he walked up right behind us yeah and it was so funny and then hannah like hannah was like oh my god you scared me and then i turned around i didn't notice him and i was like oh my god you scared me too yeah. and then he was like laughing and he was like gotcha like whatever oh my god and, he then, was and then she took one like jokingly of us actually like posing with him yeah. like i was like okay like not photo bomb like yeah. that was funny and then whatever he was like whatever like, he's like have a good night like that's yeah. so funny yeah later and then he had like a, more friends like come and sit with him later and then yeah. they whatever they all were dressed up someone was dressed up as um the fairy godmother in trek okay and it was like the most amazing costume i've ever seen really? it was so good it was so funny yeah whatever it was a good time there it was just like the vibes where i feel like for halloween especially like it was darker in there and they had just like a couple yeah. of pink and purple like mood lighting things around yeah and it was so fun. The food was really good. We did not have the goat cheese balls. I was going to say, you had to try the I know. Iconic but literally, balls. none of us like goat cheese. So that's yeah. why we're like, okay, well, we're not going to spend the money on it. Even yeah. If they were like, hey, you want a goat cheese ball? I'd be like, yeah, because I need to try it. <laughs> yeah. But also, who else was there was um, Guillermo. Like, you know. Oh, uh, like, oh, it's like her, her business partner. Yes, yes. So yes. he's like the other owner. Yes. So he was there and I was like, why am I looking fangirling that Guillermo? Not here. Guillermo. Like, and then he came over to our table at one point and was like, how are you ladies doing? Aww. Like, how's everything? And we're like, oh, it's so good. But yeah, so it was so fun. And then when we were leaving, so the whole night we wanted to get a photo with James, but we were like, we're not just going to walk up to his table while he's there with his friends. Like, yeah. Whatever. But we happened to be like leaving at the same time as them. Like, yeah. they, so the two of them like Ken and Ryan went to the bathroom and I was still sitting at the table and then they got up and kind of like left mm -hmm. so when they came back I was like oh shoot like they already left guys yeah. like oh. and then but they were still kind of around the front so when we walked out they were right there James was really like have a good night guys like he literally said that to yeah. us and I was like I was like would you mind if we got a picture with you that's like not photo bomb yeah. so, like as a joke and he was like oh yeah totally so like we took a photo and then whatever he's like have a great night guys blah blah, blah. then it was so funny because we left and we were gonna go to so we wanted to go to schwartz and sandy's yes. but it was 30 minutes from where we were from yeah where we were from where we were <laughs> from where we were yeah yeah um and then we were kind of like in the west hollywood or like area already so we're like hey we might as well just like stay here yeah so we looked up obviously like tom tom was close yeah it was like five minutes around the corner mm -hmm. so we went there which was funny because we saw like james and them walking that way too no <laughs> like, way they're probably going there oh we're gonna God. look like stalkers yeah. even though we were going there yeah um yeah so we got there and we just kind of like walked right in but it was so busy in there and i didn't realize because you know how pump actually shut down yeah well it was tom tom and pump so like half the building was tom tom oh. and half was pump so i didn't know that but i guess they re or like converted it into the both so like it's oh. kind of half the restaurant and half the restaurant oh. i had no idea and i went there and i was like oh it's pump and tom tom oh i guess that's interesting yeah i didn't know that yeah but it was fun we were on like the pump side for majority of it but yeah. it was so fun we just hung out dude we got a shot there and it was like 35 dollars canadian wait for for one yeah no you're kidding no, I'm not. No, kidding. I'm sorry. The bill was like seventy dollars USD for th for three, three shots. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Like wait. obviously they jacked it up because it was Halloween and at the bar, but it was like did you literally and then converting just say it? It was thirty dollars for a shot. Yeah, like thirty five. <gasps> that okay i'm sorry but that is insane i know like and i was kind of annoyed because i didn't realize i was going to be paying for it like it was kind of like 
like Ryan was talking to the guy and he said he was gonna buy us the shots and yeah. I also like didn't really care for a shot like I honestly didn't say like yeah I want a shot yeah like if I knew like if someone was like you're you're paying for your shot do you yeah. want one I would have said no because I knew it was gonna be expensive yeah so then after being like oh yo 35 I was like I really could have gone without that shot but whatever because it was so expensive but that's insane i mean there if for that price there better be some sort of elixir in that like some oh, sort like of a magic be- potion. like some magic beauty something no, literally elixir. sea moss yes collagen like, like give me some <laughs> something here no it was crazy like they were expensive but wow holy shit i that what about sir was that um, sir was the like prices, decently priced like i definitely say it's um pretty equivalent to like not expensive restaurants here but like decently pricey restaurants here okay. i would say it definitely compares for sure but i mean obviously it makes it more expensive for us because the then we have to convert it yeah, um otherwise if it wasn't converted it does compare like it's quite similar yeah but yeah no it was so much fun and then when we decided to leave because we were at like tom tom for like an hour which is funny because james and his girl like his friends they were all there and they were like partying next to us but, like we probably looked like creeps and Literally. didn't even do that on purpose like but of course he would be going to tom tom after sir yeah if it's in the same neighborhood i know like, it makes duh. sense but like honestly to him he probably thought like oh they obviously watch the show so they're gonna want to go here too yeah fair so enough, he right? probably like knew you know or like didn't even like yeah like that's normal yeah but yeah and then to wrap up like halloween night it was it was so fun because we went out into the street and i'm so serious when i say there's thousands of people in the streets i like, saw your one photo that you put on your uh, story and i was you like you couldn't even see the amount of people dude, that were in it though like i i could imagine like mm-hmm. i was like even just that photo i was like the streets look like they're covered if you've ever seen granville like granville street during halloween have you ever been no it's like same thing they close off granville street and it's just packed with people it's like yeah. that but it was like blocks and blocks of it yeah on steroids because all these bars and clubs are all like on the same strip yeah. kind of so it's just yeah but Pack. i felt like very safe there and it was very controlled there was like yeah there was police around that's and good. there was like they had tents and like ambulances around just in mm, case that's and good. obviously like west hollywood is a very like prideful area so a lot of it is like gay bars and yeah. whatnot and i just like felt like every it also felt like 90 percent of the people there were like gay which i'm just like i just you just it's obviously not threatening like yeah. they were just such a good vibe and Makes everyone was safe. like so nice that yeah. we talked to and it was just, yeah it was just such a good area like it felt safe even like even like the straight guys i talked to were like really nice and i'm like yeah. weren't creepy and yeah I'm like, oh that's nice oh that's, that's nice for a change that's nice for a change mm. normally y'all are really creepy yeah and you don't leave me alone yeah so no yeah it was it was a great time and it was just fun to be in the streets and then we like met these like two guys or whatever and then we hung out with them for the night and it was fun and were they from LA or one? Yeah, one one guy was like born. Or yeah, he was like from Venice or something like that, and then the other guy was from New York, I think. Okay. Or he was like born in London but lived in New York and then just moved to like Orange County, I think is what he said. Oh, but, very nice. So they were from there, so whatever we were talking about, it, and they were telling us about stuff and whatever. Yeah. So it was nice to like meet a local also. Yeah. But yeah, it was so much fun, and I I wish I did have a costume though, but it's fine because everyone there was in like oh my god their costumes were so good like uh, so done yeah. up so creative so yeah. original like i'm like how do y'all have these niche costumes yeah. like it was just so good people probably like put so much effort oh they do 100 yeah. percent. but yeah it was so much fun we had lots of good food lots of good stuff i don't know and then we saw like a couple random influences too because we went to air one on rodeo drive like in beverly hills so it's like yeah this is blue i just said blue bluesy this bluesy spot Anyways, it's like a bougie air one. I mean, they're all bougie, but yeah, yeah. We saw yeah a couple of people from like Too Hot to Handle. I also saw. Do you know who Jordan Jones is? Um, I don't think she was so. like on Dance Moms. I just feel like if you know, you know. I feel like I've heard her name before, but I don't. I she's kind of just like an influencer, like YouTuber at this point. I think. Yeah. Okay. But saw her like she was like in her car making a TikTok outside of like where Stop. we were at one point or That's something so like funny. that. But yeah, I saw a few people, and I swear all my life I saw Jack Harlow, but my friends don't think it was him, and I do really where yeah. at, at one? one yeah like sitting behind us and i was like if jack harlow shaved his hair and part of his beard it was literally him really because they say saying it didn't really look like him but i'm like it does it just doesn't look like how you'd see him on like instagram mm, you yeah. know what i mean which i'm yeah. like you know maybe people have a bad day and they get a haircut and they have a pimple like sorry yeah but it's just like I, when I was hearing him talk, like he just had the like his voice and the, his mannerisms when he talked, like was the same as him. So that's why I'm like, wait, I swear it was. What him. if it was? I think it was. They don't, but like, I wish I just asked him. Be like, for 
no reason at all what's your name yeah <laughs> for no reason at all just want to what know. is your name yeah or right? what are your initials <laughs> yeah tell me now tell me now <laughs> You have one option. <laughs> but yeah, it was so much fun. It was such a great trip. And honestly, like everything went so smooth too, mm-hmm. which I was a little bit nervous actually when we got there because obviously LA is a huge city yeah. and I've never been there before. I wasn't with like parents or anything. Yeah. So it's like we had to navigate the whole trip yeah. and like, figure everything out. Yeah. But it all went so smooth. Like we didn't have any issues which was so great. And it is very expensive there. I will say that I spent so much money. Did you spend more money like on... More on like, but we also Ubered, right? So we Ubered everywhere. So that was kind of expensive. And the food. It's mainly just because of the exchange rate. I know. It's like... Which sucks. Literally, guys. Our it's, ca- it's fairly, like I said, fairly comparable to at home. It's just the exchange rate. I know. And it's like our Canadian dollars. Or I think the Canadian dollar right now especially is very, very low. Or the American is re- just really high. But I know it's there's like, a pretty significant difference It's like right 1.38 is the difference. Uh, that's a big difference. Or 1.39 or something like that. It was 1.39 while we were there. So it's like you times everything by like 1.39 and that's the... Yeah. Ooh, so yeah, it was pricey. But I think renting a car now that I've been there once. Yeah. Or just we, we kind of... St- so we stayed in Santa Monica. So it was a little bit like to go into... The places that we frequented the most was like Beverly Hills and West Hollywood, Melrose kind of area. Mm -hmm. That was all like a 30 minute drive from us, 25, 30 minutes. And it's like next time I would just want to stay in Beverly Hills or West Hollywood and then everything would be like within like 10 to 15 minutes. So Ubers also would be cheaper or you could walk. Yeah. So, but it's like, now I know, haven't now been there. Now you know, yeah. It's like, I got like advice from other people, but it's like, okay, but other people have different opinions. Like, yes. I don't know what would work for me as yes. what works for you. You kind of just have to go there and like, kind of see. Yeah. And then afterwards you can be like, okay, now going back, I know what to do. Yeah, exactly. And oh my God, all their cafes were so good. Michaela, when I tell you, I have had the best matcha. I, oh, like, I will never have up. a better matcha than the matchas no. I had. I'm not kidding. Really? So do you know Community Goods? No. It's like a popular one. I think mainly because a lot of like famous people go there. Or, yeah. But it's also just really, really good. Yeah. Um, but Justin and Haley like go there all the time. <laughs> so I think that's why people like, Imagine wanted to go there because there. there's like famous people yeah. there. But dude, I would just go there all the time if I lived there because it's so good. Oh my god! Like the matcha latte. The first one I got was I would give it like a 7, 8 out of 10 because it was really, really good. But it was just like it could have been missed. Like it was just a good basic matcha. Yeah. But then on the last day, I went again and got one of the matchas again. But I got it with sweet cream. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was oh, literally a 10 out of 10. Stop. Like the sweet cream. Oh. It was sweet. It was Jealous. fluffy. It oh. was creamy. And they use like traditional ceremonial grade matcha. Like they sold it there too. If yeah, you wanted yeah, to yeah. buy it. And it was like. It was like genuine, authentic, oh, it was quality. yummy matcha. It was so good. Oh How much was it? just out of curiosity do it the was prices like, compared to here yeah it was about seven bucks okay that's which is the same. about here yeah i mean it converted so it'd probably be like nine closer to ten bucks for yeah. the drink um, but that's like prices here yeah but here i often pay seven to eight dollars for yeah. a drink like sometimes that. So, nine or ten even so looking at the prices on the menu it wasn't like yeah. some place i'm like oh it was actually cheaper like it'd be like 650 somewhere i'm like Ooh, oh that's so cheap yeah it's not but. yeah and even just some random cafes like still had good matcha like i was like And every cafe there has matcha. Like when I tell you every cafe Mm -hmm. versus here, not every K. No. Every K. (laughs) Every K cafe. Yeah. Every cafe does not have matcha. And like the odds that if they do and it's good are like. It's up in the air. Literally up in (laughs) the air. It's not a good odd. (laughs) No, not a good odds. Odds are not in the favor. No, not at all. So that is like one of my favorite things is that they had matcha everywhere and it was so good. Oh, I love that. You could, I feel like you could basically go anywhere there and it's going to be good. It like truly. I mean, I only tried like three or four places. It's so funny because it's like there's so many cafes I wanted to try, but it's like I can't have like three drinks a day. Like each day you would go somewhere (laughs) or like the one day we went to Disneyland. We, well we went to Disneyland we didn't get we didn't go to a cafe outside of Disneyland yeah. so I didn't but yeah I needed more days for more cafes <laughs> more days for more cafes <laughs> no that's a motto that's actually but funny. yeah it was so good weather was beautiful it was fun and yeah good time I love it it seems like all around it was just like a good trip and I'm so jealous you got to go to Sur. That is I so know, cool. It was fun. Like I did you have to make a reservation for that in advance? Or we did definitely you just didn't go? have to, but I did anyways. Um, but I made it like the morning of and there were still quite a few spots open. And when I went there, we got there for like I wanna say seven thirty and it was not that busy. But by the time we left at nine yeah. it was like quite busy. So I think like 
and it, i mean it was halloween night but yeah it, it wasn't that busy when we originally got there i don't know why that surprises me like since, maybe on a weekend since the night show is like literally huge yeah i'm like wouldn't that place be 24 7 like crowded but then thinking of it i'm like but as as like locals yep that's you're not really gonna go all the time you know what i mean exactly it's like okay as a local you want to go check it out you'll go once or twice but like fair enough right i feel like the show's so popular but yeah the show's popular around the world it's not like people are people visiting or going like if you live there unless it's they have like one of your favorite dishes you're probably not going all the time exactly so it it makes sense it's like you really are only going to go frequently if you're in the area and you um, probably wouldn't even go for it. Exactly. If you really like it, sure. Yeah. But um, sure, other than sir. that, it's not like if you want to go, if you want to go because of the show, not everybody's just going to take a flight there just to go to Sir. Yeah, going for dinner yeah, tonight for dinner. in LA and then I'll be back. Do you want to come? Yeah. So that, that does make sense. But for some reason I was like, I just thought it would be harder to get into, but that's a slight no, thing. It wasn't. It just was... called the morning of. That's yep. And so hi. cool. No, it was good. It was fun. I mean, I wish I seen Lisa, but imagine Lisa was there. You you just have to get lucky, you know. I know. Like you have to just manifest that shit. Cause like I wonder if she even comes in that often anymore. Yeah, cause she has so many restaurants. Oh my god, that girl's on the go worldwide. Worldwide. But I will mention also too, we went to Schwartz and Sandy's like the on the Saturday. Yeah, and it just isn't in that nice of an area. Like it's definitely a drive compared to the all the other restaurants and like something about her. Like they're all in that same area. Yeah. Versus the other, like Schwartz and Sandy's was thirty minutes away. Yeah. But we did go, and it was it was it was really nice in there. The restaurant was nice. It wasn't even a restaurant. It's it's kind of a bar. Yeah. But Tom Schwartz was there, and Brock was there, and. Do you know Max, like the bartender? Um, he was on rings, the show for like two seasons or something, and then the, the, he got canceled. And it then rings a bell. Isn't that her son? Or no. Am I oh yes, her son is Max, but there also is another Max. Okay. Um. Then I'm he's not... like a bartender. He was a bartender at Schwartz and Sandy's, like on the show. I, I think like he was at Tom Tom for one point, but it might ring a bell if I like. I saw. think if you saw his face, you would know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he yeah. was only on for like a season, maybe two. Okay. We didn't get to talk to them at all. Or like, well, I guess we did, like, because Max was at the bar, but we didn't, um, like, actually see Tom Schwartz. And Hannah was really sad about that because she really wanted a photo with him. But like, by the time we went to leave, he'd already left. Mm -hmm. But James Kennedy had a DJ performance that night. And Mm -hmm. then that's where he was going. So I think he like kind of ripped out of there to go. Oh, okay. Yeah. But overall, great trip. Super fun. Love it. But happy to be home. Like, yeah, it's weird because I'm like, you know how before like you traveled for so long and you're like, oh my God, I was just like dying to come home at at one one point. Like I was there for six days and being busy every six days or like for every day, every six days. I was like, like, as much as I don't want to go home, I'm like, I'm ready to go home. Going away makes you realize how much you appreciate home. Yeah you know it just is like yeah like the comfortability like even though i so appreciated there and i was like there's yeah. so many more things i love about the, yeah. here so far than i love where i live but it just was like oh like i need my bed i need my stuff like even though i had all my stuff pretty much i overpacked oh my god i brought two <laughs> suitcases <laughs> <laughs> wait come again okay, one main big suitcase and then i brought a carry-on suitcase so okay like a small one. okay that's but actually still, really funny. that was filled with like shoes and jackets that's hilarious that you brought all that for six days no i did of course of course you gotta get the outfit you gotta bring the whole closet yeah you gotta bring the boots and honestly bringing boots and jackets so much space that's like an entirety of a luggage i know i brought two jackets and i was like oh that's a lot dude that's like the hardest thing about packing is bringing shoes and jackets everything else is pretty easy they take up so much space yeah no that's that's I, i feel that struggle so i do understand why you had to take two or one one it's called one and a half one and a half one and a half one and a half but yeah, no, it, I was ready to come home. Even yeah. though now I'm home, I'm like, ugh, whatever. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you're like, ugh, now I want to I know, I'm like, next trip, planning it already, but <laughs> it, it's fine. Like, I feel like at this t- this time of year, now it's like November, December, it gets cold, it's season, like, it's, it's the holidays, I don't know. And I feel like it goes by so fast, but I also find the holidays, like, quite stressful rather than, like, fun holidays. I'm like, this is just stressful and annoying sorry yeah no i get it but what's stressful about it for you i just feel like it's like the christmas shopping is like yeah it's not fun yeah like which it kind of sucks because i'm like i don't have fun buying your christmas presents it's stressful and it's like yeah because i have to get people presents yeah like and it has to be like material like you know what i mean i know what you mean like the pressure of it and i also feel like just as an adult christmas just isn't the same anymore and i also don't have any kids in my family so there's not like the The santa Santa, whatever it's kind of like mm-hmm I don't know. Yeah. You're just an adult. It's like, it's Christmas is expensive and it's stressful and it's also like hard for people. Like, yeah. 
family wise and stuff over yeah. the holidays and i don't know like it's still fun but i also just like don't like the cold season so like yeah, already not liking know, the weather yeah. and then it's like christmas that can be stressful i'm like not the biggest christmas fan like it's i like it but mm-hmm. it's just like i don't get excited for it anymore like it just kind of happens yeah. I'm like, oh this is a fun time i enjoy being with my family and then it's over and i'm like okay hey, bye yeah <laughs> like that's just yeah, how i feel no. about it like i'm not I get like oh my god christmas yeah i'm like yeah okay christmas is coming yeah cool. you're like okay right yeah i but i do get that me personally i just i don't know i feel like obviously christmas was like a different breed when we were younger yeah, yeah, yeah. and also you had no care in the world santa's yeah. coming yeah you're getting the best nintendo ds yeah, yeah, or yeah, the yeah. ipod touch yeah. <laughs> or whatever you got for christmas um christmas as a child there's just like literally nothing that could compare to that and it's like kind of sad thinking about it that like we're never gonna have that back yeah but then it's like it makes me think like you know what when we're older and we do have kids if you are going to have kids you could like share that experience with them again and I feel like that's kind of kind of gonna bring the magic back I hope but like you said it's funny being an adult and you realize like wait like being older Christmas is expensive oh it is uh, yeah it is because you have to like buy well and it's like you don't have you to don't do have any to do these anything. things but it's just like it's just like the societal standard now is that yeah. and like expectations is that you go and like get everyone these great great like gifts and spend yeah. money on them and it's like oh my god what if i just want to make you a craft yeah like, yeah no I, <laughs> what if i just want to write you a love letter what if i just okay? want to write you a love letter like at like, this point i'd accept that because yeah. i get it like the economy all <laughs> inflation economy. like if you can only afford to write me a card yeah. i get it no honestly i'm like literally the same way like i do not expect like christmas gifts or whatever from anybody because yeah. i literally get it it's like honestly yeah i'd rather you not buy me a gift yeah. like i don't i don't care you know yeah um, like i'm an adult like i can buy the things i need it, exactly it's like at this age if you really want something you can make it happen to buy it for yourself yeah. like when we were younger oh my god i would plan out my gifts like oh, i write lists i would literally plan it out like the world depended on it because at the ripe age of you know being literally 10 years old you don't have one cent to your name no so you will re- solely rely on christmas and on birthdays. christmas and birthdays and gifts exactly. so when you want something you are going to ramsack your brain oh, and absolutely. be like oh my god this is my one opportunity yeah my one my one chance so it's yeah it's just not like that anymore but i regardless of like you know it not being the same when we're kids i just like love to romanticize things if like there was no christmas for november and december or whatever this time of year would just be horrible yeah true it would just drag on so long i think personally also january to like even borderline march uh march it starts getting better but it's like just the real slumpy short day type of yeah you know, january time and february of is year. Awful. <laughs> and so christmas at least brings some like light into that it does there's something to look forward to i love decorating i love putting on like christmas movies yeah and just kind of you know it just it's nice it gives you something to romanticize and to be excited about yeah because it's like all about the day-to-day you know like romanticizing your day-to-day and like making the most about it so as much as like you know christmas can be expensive and can stress you out because i get it it's like having to find a gift for everybody in your life it's like stressful yeah especially when you like work full-time on top of that it's like when do you have time to do yeah that's another thing like that's another thing why it's like okay because when i think oh here comes the holiday season it comes here comes me working so many hours and being tired and not having time to shop because i work at the mall and i'm not going to the mall outside of the times i work at the mall you know what i mean so like my in like like for some jobs and whatnot it's like okay well i'm like i literally open my availability to like more days during yeah the holiday season because they want you to because they need mm-hmm. like all hands on deck pretty much yeah so i'm like oh my god i've been working so much and it's like and then it's stressful because everyone's christmas shopping so there's it's way busier yeah and it just it, that that's another thing that makes it stressful is like yeah. work and just going out to places because things are just so much more crowded if you're trying to take do tasks and errands yeah. and stuff yeah but yes, still romanticize it though. There are exciting things coming. Yeah. This season. <laughs> You're like literally we need, like, like a good new Christmas music, new movie or music or something, please. Yeah. I it's just about like literally paying attention to the small details and it's like you said like when you were in LA you're like oh I as much as you are enjoying your trip it's like still part of you is thinking like I 
really want to be home right now like there's nothing like home yeah like genuinely there's there's nothing like home home. and there's nothing there's really nothing like living your just your plain old day-to-day life yeah and but i just want to pick up my home and put it somewhere better (laughs) (laughs) somewhere warmer at least okay (laughs) yeah no i i do get that because this time of year it could get rough and tough oh my god yeah it's coming yeah and I'm scared. the days oh my god i was just looking at like the weather app because you could see when the sun rises and like when the sun sets oh. at this time of year oh yeah no because of the time change i hate that dude okay i'm gonna like pull this up so i can because the sun is you literally guys. setting at like 4 p.m right now are you kidding okay guys we just had daylight savings so you need to listen to this so let us know if this is kind of a, like the same as to where you live too because i'm curious but in november the sun rises at 7 26 a.m and oh sets God. at 4 30 which means we have an average daylight of nine total daylight of nine hours nine out of 24 in a day is crazy like <gasps> that is why i like to hibernate like that is and that is why insane. i don't like the fall and winter seasons okay my point right there nine hours dude nine what is it normally in the summer like in the summer 14 15 um so the highest point of the year where we get the most daylight is june and the sun rises at 5 a.m yeah and it doesn't set until just past nine so how many hours is that 16 hours i think 16 hours yeah you know how i did that math in my head is i went from noon to nine nine hours and then i went from 5 a.m to 10 a.m and then plus two hours to noon oh like why did i do it like that it was such a random way i just went on my counting my 16 hours and right now that's seven hours less of daylight than normal that's double that's double it's literally double that is just so that is messed up universe messed up but not even that why why do we have daylight savings like i feel like that kind of ruins it stupid in a way well does it like does that make a difference it ruins my mental health (laughs) my mental health because think Uh, about it like if you work eight hours oh but then we do it again in the spring yeah go forward so we change it back yeah and it's just right now so we can be brighter in the morning but like i want it brighter at night not the morning yeah because who wakes up early because now i'm going to bed at 4 30 that's what that's what i mean like i'm not even kidding you i since daylight savings happened i swear my brain has have has been so messed up yep. because once it hits like 4 30 it's already getting dark by 5 30 it's pitch black and i am sitting here like it, am i supposed to go to bed like it's time to sleep i'm and that's like not even when i started making start making dinner yet no. so in my head i'm so confused and i'm like what is going on i know i'll i'll be like laying on the couch and it's whatever the sun is set and it'll be like seven seven thirty and i'm like why does it feel like almost 11 o'clock right now because it feels like you've already been like in darkness for so long that it could be like almost midnight and i'm like it literally feels like 11 o'clock and it's seven it's not even eight it's actually the weirdest thing ever i know i don't like it Uh, that is so short i i really don't like that about daylight savings yeah because then and then in spring we spring forward so then that means it's the opposite way so it gets lighter at night but it's like well, it's already going to start being lighter at night because yeah. it's that time of year. So why do we even do it? I know. And so what? T- okay. I saw someone say this in a TikTok and they're like, okay, since we've been doing that for so many years, what time is it actually? Whoa. Like literally without any of that, what time is it actually? Don't know. Wow. No clue what actual time it was. If there wasn't daylight savings, what the actual time would be. Don't know. Wow. And that's freaking me out. I, I don't like that. Like looking at this chart here get that chart out of here like <laughs> dude oh in december don't want to be don't want to don't be a downer but don't want to be a downer but in december the sun sets at 4 15 <gasps> that's like pretty much three like you're kidding me um oh my god it literally says we didn't even have to do the math i'm dumb it literally says right here longest daylight 16 hours and 13 minutes comparison to like eight thank you very much god anyway so if you guys have daylight savings we hope you're doing okay <laughs> <laughs> god because that's crazy yeah i don't most... think everywhere does it i kind of think it's only like a north america thing i only think here in the states does it i've honestly i have no idea i think that most people don't do it i feel like it's a weird thing worldwide yeah. i don't know i feel like we're only one of few countries that do it i really have no idea who else does it but i just want to know why i actually think somebody told me it's for the farmers or something but apparently it's like irrelevant nowadays so I, I don't know like they did that back in the day you know what i mean so i don't know why it's still going on yeah i'm not a fan let's vote against it 
<laughs> Speaking of vote, it was a crazy week. Yeah. Not to get political, but <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Crickets. Yeah, I was really, really, really happy with the timing of this trip because... Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, we got back two days before the election. And obviously, like, no matter who won, there was probably going to be, you know, I don't know, just some crazy rambunctious stuff going on. Yeah. That usually happens after elections. Yeah. So it was really good that we got back. And I mean, I don't really know, like... I'm really waiting for like the dust to settle because obviously this just happened and like emotions are heightened with people and everything that it's like, yeah. but in my head, I'm like, okay, well now I'm not going to Cal- California again <laughs> for four years. Yeah. That's actually Like, funny. I don't know. Cause I, we, I literally was like, I want to move to California after this trip. I was like, yeah. I'm literally moving yeah. to LA. Like I love this place. And then yeah, there's a new president. I'm like, Oh, um, actually I don't really know if <laughs> oh, I want to do that. And then you're like, Oh wait. Oh, can <laughs> <It's that. laughs> Oh my god yeah pretty much so i was like oh suddenly i'm looking at australian visas <laughs> hi oh my god do you know how easy it is to get an australian visa as a canadian also apparently so it's pretty easy right? it's so easy and to go uh. to the states as a u.s visa you have to prove you were like hard working like great at your job like you have to be like super beneficial like as in oh shut up like you, like you're gonna add something to the country right yes Ugh. because otherwise you're taking away from jobs of people that are already like from there yeah which i get i guess that does kind of make sense i guess like one of our managers from our store like at our store she is a she was a boutique manager and then she moved to new york to be an assistant or an associate boutique whatever and they like questioned her on that like because she's coming to a lower position so it's like they literally questioned her on that because she's has a higher position here but lower here so they're like well why are you coming here to get a lower position kind of type thing like they almost like weren't gonna let her because of that what which is it's still a high position at the store but it's just not as high as oh you know my what i mean God. so yeah. it's just like yeah they're very like you have to be like strict on it yeah like you have to be like worth it obviously <laughs> you, like prove you yourself show your worth. no you actually do i'm yeah. like serious but no to go to australia i looked it's like 650 aud you just have to have a passport on your way like it's so and easy that's so awesome because and i know so many people who've done that who've gone yeah. over the visa and one of the best things about going there is the Australian dollar is literally weaker than Canadian. Oh, yeah. So our money is like worth more. So there? our money is worth. Wait, is, is that for sure? Oh, yeah. It's for sure. It's okay, worth love it. just a little bit. It's like basically, let's call the it conversion even. conversion rate. It's not going to yeah. mess you up. Yes. Let's just call it even. Sometimes. That's nice. It, but yeah. our dollar sometimes does fluctuate higher. So. Yep. And there's Australian guys there. So like, duh. Wait, that would actually be a bomb place to go Mm -hmm. no i would want to go there i actually have family that live there which is cool oh then there you go see you i just would like you and the thing is getting an australian visa like i okay i was looking this up the other day i'm not pulling this out of my ass by the way i do that sometimes but i'm not right now (laughs) um you don't even have to have a job lined up really you can go there and look for a job yeah 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 for the states you have to be like have a job it's like you don't even have to have a proposed job or like I don't know what it said but yeah you pretty much can go there with like nothing yeah and yeah, then yeah. find a job like yeah and I think like the first three months like you don't even have to work or something like that I don't know it was along the lines but it's like yeah. quite easy to go over there and I was like that's cool I keep telling my brother that he should go because my brother wants to like go out and travel and like we've been to Australia and he yeah. really enjoyed it he has a friend that lives there mm-hmm. and we have family so yeah. I keep telling him I'm like you should go like mm-hmm. go to Australia that'd be so fun like I would I would love to go back one day I'm like it would just be fun if I had like people i was more close to to go and like visit rather than like yeah i don't know it would be so fun but anyways yeah so crazy week for the states that's for sure yeah uh that would be like a week almost a week ago now when this podcast is posted but this oh was yeah like true. yesterday it's like found all kind of happening now yeah yesterday we found out which it's so funny because i saw this tiktok and it was like <laughs> it was like her like fast motion pacing around the room and it was like me as a canadian while the american election is going on season finale yes 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 <laughs> i saw that too the season finale of the usa yes like i was like oh my god but yeah i don't know i just felt like stressed out because i was like i want to know i just want to know what happens like it just felt so intense and- yeah no honestly it's one of those things where i was just like don't stress about it because like literally i'm first of all <laughs> yeah it's not our we have no control no so i'm just all. like literally yeah we're not voting so like yeah it's just like it's out it's com- literally completely mm-hmm. out of our control even though the things when people are like oh you're canadian doesn't actually matter well it does because there are already like there are some things that will affect us 100 percent. like there's three main things for sure that is true it, i i guess like since we're literally neighbors it will affect it, us oh no, no it what. will and like the one of the first things that he's doing is putting tariffs on 
all the goods like import so like oh, taxes and shit right yeah so it's going to be so much more expensive for us to send our stuff to america so not as many people are going to buy stuff from can't take it from canada no, so that so means sad. we're probably going to have more inflation here because of that oh <laughs> like we need more so of that. remember when uh, y'all were voting in, in canada and you were like oh i d-. no because we're gonna get it a little bit too from from reasons like that like from yeah whatever and also immigrant situations too because we take yeah. in everyone and he wants to deport 11 million so where do you think they're going here <laughs> probably yeah we'll probably get a lot of immigrants for sure and canadians here are already mad about our immigrants so like okay yeah prepare for more yeah i don't know it's it's just a crazy situation like canada will definitely get effects oh from it for sure but we're neighbors we trade with them we do things yeah, like that's the thing that's kind of sad is. is like we can't we don't have a say no but we still get affected yeah which is actually kind of a crazy concept yeah if you really think about it yeah um, it is and like you know i'll respect okay actually i should rephrase that i won't respect everyone's opinions but i will understand <laughs> maybe i'll try no <laughs> you're like <laughs> wait no i mean i'm sure it's quite obvious like more or less how we feel about it like we're also first of all we're women and <laughs> yeah who just their rights are literally going to be taken basic away rights which is unfortunate and i just i i just personally can't believe that a like rapist can be the president it's just crazy that is just crazy but doesn't that just go to show how like fucked up Gov- the government is mm-hmm. and the people voting for that like that's okay with them <sighs> oh it's just freaking me all the stuff online like and i'm seeing like a bunch of like it makes me happy that like some celebrities are speaking out about it because you know like yeah. normally like politics like you don't really discuss that but like at this day and age with the things that are on the table of being like taken away from literal just human rights like i think it's important to speak up about that for things like that yeah especially like as women and ev- in everything like that it's like hey the thing that rubs me the the wrong way the most is that like as women not even that long ago not even that long ago we, we just got rights we <laughs> literally just like generations of women before us have fought so hard mm-hmm. just to get basic rights even just, just to vote like we only were allowed to I, vote like 40 years ago that's or 30 I mean. years ago or we something were, like if you think about how really far back that goes it's pretty recent yeah and like women have fought so hard up until this point to get us just like literal basic rights and borderline mm-hmm. equality you know yeah. and it's like for that to happen like for us to come all this way i don't want anything to be taken away from it's just like we'll women. never be equal which sucks yeah but uh, like especially like there could have been the first female president ever and a person of color like how like progressive is that which is so awesome which is like now not happening but But you know just go to show like how like a white man will always win anyways anyways but anyways yeah so that was definitely a big big week so that's crazy but yeah which will affect the next four years of everybody's lives crazy i'm really curious to see how it falls out falls out that way and also i mean like canada does take steps behind in the states like we do follow yeah behind them in some things so that's why it's also kind of like oh what could happen here too you know what i mean yeah not like it's beyond all like we've got our own freaking problems here. yeah i know we've got our own problems like yeah not trying to get too wrapped up in them it's just like for me it's mainly like the actual just human rights thing like i yeah. would love humans to just be able to have their rights yeah their yeah. basic rights thank you as we should thank you yep land thank of, you land of the what land of the free of the free yeah no that's crazy yeah saying america they have freedom girl who <laughs> men girl men Where? have freedom that's it yeah that's so sad <sighs> but yeah so baby i don't feel like do i have anything else to share i'm trying to think oh now that i've been home i've been looking at apartments though <laughs> <laughs> stop really <laughs> i always need that's something exciting. going on and also i'm not going to tell exactly the details but i realize how much driving i do back and forth to work like i actually counted the kilometers and everything yeah. and how much gas i spend and yeah. i was like i need to live closer to work yeah because i want to stay working where i'm working yeah and i was like oh my god like the amount of kilometers i drive i do like four shifts a week like dude that's and especially because i also have a jeep too so it's like not that great on gas in general like i get four to 450 kilometers a tank which is like like 400 450 yeah it's just like not good like my friend hannah's car she gets like almost 600 kilometers her car is so good on gas what but i get like around 400 maybe even like 390 is when it's like the light comes on oh shit girl 
like i can go to work like two maybe three times in a week. oh like that's sh- crazy like you're filling up every, like more than once a week yes i fill up probably twice a week or like sometimes it carries over so it's like it kind of was twice a week but like yeah i see what you mean you got it like the day after the you know what i mean yeah no i fill up a lot um that's so exciting no. though apartment but hunting. yeah so now i've been looking so i want to just go even though i'm like yeah i'm literally broke my bank after going to la <laughs> but <laughs> your I'm bank like, account is like split in half yeah i'm like i you know literally it's like, yeah but you know i'm gonna be opening up my work availability so i'm gonna be working lots over the next like month or two it's okay show over it's like it's grind season now it's that which <laughs> arc it's which are winter, winter arc arc. era as we the keep fuck. saying it's that <laughs> saying where it's <laughs> like um what's the saying <laughs> i don't know where i have no idea where i you literally were going. just had I can't it in my head you. oh can we give me one second okay money sorry me- money comes back memories don't make themselves or something like what? that <laughs> it's about traveling when like spending your money yes it's like worth it mm-hmm. and then like you could always come back and make more money you, you know can't I mean? buy memories or oh, something like some- that okay yeah honestly you probably botched that quote but you guys know what i mean <laughs> along the lines we understand yes we, we knew your intention behind it yes exactly but so no is- i agree with that i i always say that my mom like says that to me too so she's never someone that's like no you shouldn't do that because yeah she traveled a lot when she was younger and like that yeah. was all like i just feel like for your growth for your yeah. existence as a human for your mental your happiness like yes. to me traveling is a big thing that i want to do mm-hmm. so like if i have to be in debt a little bit because i went on a trip and i had so much fun that's okay for me it's worth the memories but no i want to just grind in the winter and i would love to move out in the next couple of months actually like just thinking about it i was like I need something going on dude that's a really good goal I feel like going into the new year yeah because that's something that you can really like work towards yeah and you can be like okay I'm gonna actually like make this happen in the new year yeah and um it gives you time to like plan it out and whatever and yeah and look but that's that's literally so exciting yeah it's absolutely achievable it's just like for me I will just have to actually budget properly because I don't really budget right now to be honest Mm -hmm. and it's fine it works but sometimes it doesn't so that's why i'm like obviously mm-hmm. with like a full price rent like i pay rent yeah. at home but it's not anywhere near what i would be paying yeah elsewhere it's like i can afford it it just i would have to budget and like mm-hmm. stick to my budget to make yeah. it work right and like that's what you gotta do so yeah. we gotta do what you gotta do sometimes you know the girlie's gotta make a budget sheet i know so now i've been like looking the second we got back and i'm like like i just need because because now it's like gonna be winter i'm not gonna be like i'm not really gonna travel that much like yeah until probably like the spring of next year we'll do something but like until then i'm gonna be bored i need a project or like something so yeah that's on the horizon and i would just love to also not spend as much dang money on gas yeah honestly if you live closer to to your work um then i can also work a little bit more like have different hours because right now it takes me quite a while to get to work and back and that adds on to each end of the day it's about an hour right yeah and i only will work eight hour shifts at my work so that way it makes it worth it yeah but it's like okay well i could pick up another day and only work like four to six hours or work like a shorter shift you know what i mean so that's still more money in my pocket so much sense if you're like way closer than it that i have more time in the morning if i don't have an hour whatever drive it's like Like, you're not wasting basically half your day just driving no when i go to work that is my full day like i don't do anything else before anything else after it's my full entire day that's crazy it's like bunker like down if, yeah if i road get a trip yeah <laughs> yeah no it's really like i'm on a road trip daily day in and day out yeah so yeah i would love to just live closer and just a change yeah. of scene change of environment as yeah. well i've been where i've been for like a few years like five five or six years i've been living yeah. where i live now and it's i'm yeah. just bored no i i know Straight what you up. mean i mean literally moving out is so exciting mm-hmm. and i'm the type of person that's like i love i love change yeah i love change yeah. like any little thing i'd like to change and <laughs> just like to freshen change things up <laughs> change it every little thing change it. um so i love that for you yeah and it's gonna be so like just soak in the process of actually like kind of like planning to move out yep. and like touring places yeah soak in that process because that's like one of the funnest things about moving oh, out. oh i'm sure yeah so. even when i've gone and like looked at apartments and stuff with my mom like in the past before we moved like just walking through places like oh my god and i would put my bed here and i would do this and put this over here <laughs> yeah. like it's just so fun yeah. so no that'll be fun i'll tell you i honestly like my mom was like you should go look at places this weekend like she was like you should go yeah. like just see yeah. what's out there i right? mean like why not Th- that's why not? the whole fun of it yeah is going to tour places so i'll update y'all yeah guys I'm, I'm excited t c Ugh, it would just be so fun 
even though it was funny because when I was away for a week in LA, <laughs> if you didn't oh, know, if you didn't know, if you didn't know, I was in LA. LA, um, <laughs> Los Los Angeles. If you didn't it's know, Los what Angeles that's um, stood for. That's what it stands for. Yeah. Um, on like maybe like two days before I came back or something, I was like, I literally hadn't talked to my mom the whole time I was gone. Like, or I hadn't called her at least. We texted like the odd time, but yeah. And I talked to my mom every single day. Like normally, yeah, I call that bitch like three times a day. <laughs> like, and I see Aww. her. Like I, like I talked to her all the time. Yeah. But no, yeah, I was like, I was like, bye. Like, I miss you. And she was like, I miss you too. It's weird. And I was like, <laughs> what do you mean? It's weird. Stop. I'm like, that's not weird. You should miss me, mom. Not the, I miss you too. It's weird. And she's like, it's weird. And then she's like, no, like, I mean, like, it's weird. Like, <laughs> like, like, I haven't no. seen you in like a week. Yeah. And we've barely talked. Like, she's like, this is what it would be like, like when you move out. And she's like, it's, it's kind of sad. So Stop. I was like, oh, mom. No. I was like, you better be sad when I move out. <laughs> you better cry. You better miss me, bitch. You better cry. You better be sad. You better send me money because you miss me. <laughs> <laughs> you better be giving me a hundred dollar bills a couple times and every time I see you. You better door dash me food because you miss me. <laughs> like, <laughs> drop off groceries because you miss me. <laughs> Take but, me shopping. Because you miss me. No, it was just funny. And she was like, yeah, I just like really felt like if you were moved out what it would be like and i was like Aw. oh no that's sad which is like it does make me sad to like not live with my mom because me and my mom are so close but yeah that's so cute though i'm like no i'm ready to like have that space yeah from her yeah <laughs> not like, well, like not like not in a bad from way her. not in a bad way yeah no i, I mean her it. too yeah. but it's like then it's just like the, re- the relationship will be different in that way and I'm like but also at the same time like we talk all the time so i'd still be talking to her all the time i just wouldn't physically like see yeah, her as is, often and i'm sure you'd see her often still you know often. what i mean yeah so yeah no, but yeah like, but it was just funny you gotta use your wings and soar out of the yeah nest. i gotta you know fly that high you gotta fly yeah at um. the ripe age of 24 <laughs> And just kidding, guys. If you're 24 and you're also still at home, that's chill. No, guys, literally. Like we said last episode, it don't matter where you're at. Everyone's yeah, in their own path. It really don't. Especially, especially in today's economy. Mm-hmm. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. Honestly, seriously, it's ridiculous. So that's so exciting, though. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We'll update y'all what happens with that. Yeah, I'm actually excited for God, you, I just, you to tour places. I want to be able to decorate a place <laughs> my old like, place I want to do a Sunday so reset excited. on my place no literally decorate. right that's so funny oh my god that's so fun uh, I was thinking about it too because like I'm like food picky and like say if I'm living with like say like Hannah my friend yeah it's like hey I'm not living with a partner so like all of our like groceries aren't combined I yeah. literally was like am I gonna like write notes on shit <laughs> and be like this is mine don't eat it <laughs> but like little pink sticky notes right and i was thinking about it. i was like well how do you do that when you like live with other people like yeah. you just know like if i didn't buy it but it's like i'd also like share like it's not like i know i think in my head it would be like you can help yourself to whatever as long as it's not like the last one or two of something exactly. just ask yeah 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 or if it's like something that's special or there's like only yeah. a couple just maybe ask yeah and i'll say yes yeah. but if it's like there's one last of like my coke zero don't take it yeah no exactly i was like how do you even figure that out you know what i mean yeah it's just because like i'm fine to share like it's fine yeah it's like but that's how you have that's why you have to be like you you have to know who you're gonna live with yeah because otherwise like that shit's gonna happen true and you gotta communicate it and be like this is happening you gotta like set your boundaries literally communicate everything yeah and it'll be fine poof and it's hannah she's easygoing and like we've known each other for forever so we know you guys are literally like we're so close like that so it's yeah. it's it'll be fine but yeah I'm like if she tries to like steal my special snack while i'm gone <laughs> you're like you're, you're gonna done. S- you're gonna see a different side to me oh if- yes the rage <laughs> will be out the hormonal no, rage. That, that's one thing about like my <laughs> father love him but you leave food it's not have a name on it and you don't specifically say yeah. don't eat this oh yeah. it's gone Do you know what that's called a boy that's literally just called a boy and i know because he's done it to me so many times yeah literally the whole way home i'd be thinking about oh there oh yeah there like there's some cookies left yeah. and i'm like mm, i can't wait yeah. to have one of those yeah. cookies i get home get home box is empty yeah it's still in the cupboard though it's just empty dude that's literally having a brother or like chicken strips there's none left yeah. i'm like oh, okay. that's living with a boy that's, especially that's just especially when you boy. fixate on something and then you get home yes. and it's no longer there but you, know you many, knew it was there when you left i'm like do you know how many times that's happened to me oh i'm sure a million oh a, a hundred thousand million. And it makes you like literally mad yeah no because like you're, you're like, no i'm you're mad coming now home, i only want that you're coming home expecting to yeah. have that and then you're like so happy you're like Ugh, yeah yes and then you, you like, open bust it, down the door bust down the door open the cabinet and then all of a sudden you're hit with the realization it's no longer there yeah 
Yeah. No, it's actually so sad, especially because like I'm such like a food fixator. Well, I'll yeah. be like, oh, when I get home, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to eat this. Mm, I'm excited to eat this. And I get home and I'm like, now I just want to starve because I'm upset. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then you try to like rebel and you're like, Ugh. you try to have something else. And you're like, this is this sucks. No. Yeah, no, I, I 100 percent. So that. that's one thing about living with my brother. There was points of time where like I had to say like he went and bought me some stuff because he literally ate my stuff. And I was like, actually so mad. I was like, can you stop? Yeah. Like, yeah. hello. And yeah. He, yeah. He like, went and like, bought me Reese's Pieces or something like that. <laughs> and then I hadn't That's even funny. eaten it for a couple of days. And he was like, can I have some? And I was like, no. Uh, this yeah. is literally what you bought me to replace what you ate of mine. You're all eating it. Okay, I swear to God, boy's mentality is <laughs> is like if you leave it in the fridge for like more than a day. It's literally free game. It's free game. And it's like girls are more so like, oh, like we'll put it away for later yeah. for tomorrow. Versus I know I didn't buy that like or I didn't eat that. Like I yeah. know that's not mine. Yeah. So I'm not just going to eat it out of the fridge unless it's like, oh, there's yeah. seven pieces of pizza. Maybe yeah. I'll take one piece. That's different. But like having the I'm last not gonna of see something? a cupcake on the counter and take the last one no. without finding out if it's someone no. else's and they're no. already planning to eat it. It's called boy brain versus no, girl brain. No. Yeah. Oh, they, just, yeah. they just don't even think about it. No. My brother, he's like, he was on the counter. So. Oh my gosh. I'm, like, no. I'm going to punch you in your teeth. No, literally. Trust me when I say I get it. It's mm-hmm. such a boy thing. Oh yeah. It's such a boy, boy brain. <sighs> well i kind of think that's all i have to say yeah. honestly honestly like we had a good yap session yeah good catch up yap, good yap session. session um yeah honestly i'm dumbfound for words <laughs> dumbfounded for words <laughs> i think that wraps up the episode we've been recording for a while now anyways yeah so. and oh my god my throat f- is kind of funny yeah guys everybody's getting yeah I guys really hope she's pray not for getting me sick. in the comments pray for me pray for her say pray for me tonight don't get sick good juju no as soon as i started i got here and started talking my throat so- my voice just sounded weird and i was like yeah oh so i had some tea and now it's like it still sounds a little funny but i mean now i've been talking for like an hour yeah. so it just sounds a little raspy mm-hmm. Hopefully you're fine. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I'm fine. You should be good, but... Um, Wish me luck. Yeah. No, I'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be fine. Nobody's getting sick here. We're good. In the hood. Not happening. I also took a bunch of vitamins this morning in preparation, <laughs> just in That's case. That's like so. that if if you're going to get sick, you like load up on everything. Yeah, no, me, vitamin C, a million. Yeah. Just kidding. But like the cold effects and stuff. Yeah, actually. <laughs> um. Well, thanks for listening, yeah. guys. Thanks for supporting as always. And um yeah leave us any suggestions Mm -hmm. any comments about what you guys want to see if you have any advice any questions we're always open to answering things like that yeah thanks again for tuning in yeah thanks guys for listening and we can't wait for next week to record an episode we don't know what it's gonna be yet (laughs) (laughs) we're so excited for that so leave some recommendations down below absolutely (laughs) okay love you guys. guys bye